Okay, I've got a um, one of my side mount tanks here, 32% is what I had in it. I wanna to continue to keep 32%. So we are going to blend this using the booster back up to 32%. And of course, we'll top it off with regular air. So the first thing I wanna do is shut the bleeder valve and I want to check and see how much gas we have in this tank. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acre Scuba and Marina. If you're new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now, in one of our recent videos, I showed you how we did partial pressure blending. You saw how we did it with the stick years ago, and then just the other day I showed you how we did a partial pressure blending, but a lot of you guys asked down in the comment section, hey, how does the actual booster work and what is the booster for? Well, and today we're gonna partial pressure a blend of nitrox using not only partial pressure blending, but we're also gonna be using the booster and kind of explain to you how it works and why we actually use it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in and learn a little bit more about partial pressure blending. All right, guys, I got my dad in here to help us out. He's got one of his cylinders here that he's gonna be uh, putting a blend of nitrox in. So I'm gonna let him kind of explain what we're doing. Okay, I've got a um, one of my side mount tanks here, 32% is what I had in it. I want to continue to keep 32%. So we are going to blend this using the booster back up to 32%. And of course, we'll top it off with regular air. So the first thing I want to do is shut the bleeder valve and I want to check and see how much gas we have in this tank. And this one has just a little over 1800 PSI. So I'm going to go to my cheat sheet which I'm using the multi-deco app. Um, it's not just for planning deco dives. You can also use it to uh, check your mixes. Now, if we've already got 32% in it, why are we using partial pressure blending versus just using a stick? Because there's already 32% in it. What would be the benefit here? Well, you'll use a lot less O2 out of this tank because we're not having to run it through the stick, wait till the blend gets just perfect. We're not having to run the compressor. This way we can just top it off with regular air. Right, and we're just doing, we're actually doing another bottle. We've already blended that one, but we're just doing one bottle. We're not doing a slew of nitrox bottles. So it is a little bit quicker and a little bit more efficient just to do the partial pressure blending. Okay, according to my cheat sheet, I've got 1818 in the tank. I've got 32%. I want to keep it at 32 at 3000. So I need to run it to about 1976. I'm gonna round that up to 2000 PSI. I'm gonna boost this tank to 2000 with pure O2, and then we'll top it off with air with about 1000 PSI to get us back to where we need to be. Awesome. So first thing I'm gonna do is slowly open my O2 bottle. I'm going to check, and right now we are about 1400 PSI. So I can open this all the way and it's not going to bleed anything in because there's more pressure already into this so that tells me i've got to use the booster to take this to where i want to go so we are using a um, steel 120 high pressure tank for a drive gas um, your drive gas can't be over 120 psi though so we've got this tuned down from where it normally is and basically what i'm going to do is be opening this valve slowly till i get the pressure moving through it. This gas is going to come into here, drive the double pistons on this one. It's a 1540. And then it's going to drive this up and you can watch it as it goes. Now, because both of these are relatively close, the booster is going to work kind of slow. It's not going to take as much. If this bottle was down to, let's say three or 400 PSI, we would have to throttle it more because the booster is going to be sitting there, bam, bam, but you don't want it working too fast, moving too much gas at a time getting hot on this end, freezing up on this end. So, but right now I can kind of open it up pretty good. You'll hear the booster work and you'll watch the pressure go up.
So you'll notice that I actually run it a little higher. I think it was calling for about 1986, somewhere in that range. It will fall back off a little bit as the pressure leaves. Uh, so I run mine up usually 50 PSI or something over. I'm still gonna get the mix I want when I'm done, but you can already see it's dropping down. It'll drop into the 1990 range when it's all said and done. But basically we just wanna shut everything off just like you would if you was filling over here. And when we're done, we're gonna go top it all off on, on the uh, regular bank tanks. All right, so now that we've got the O2 added that we needed, we're just going to add 21% on top, get us back to the 32%. And then, of course, if you guys remember from the last video that we did on partial pressure blending, we will monitor to the O2 and, of course, remark the cylinders, make sure that everything's good to go on it. And we should have our 32% mix. And just like that, guys, we've got them topped back off. I'm going to sit here and let them cool just a little bit, and then we'll come back and analyze them. See what the O2 content is, and then, of course, we'll remark the cylinder. There you go, guys. That's how easy it is to use a booster if you're partial pressure blending. Just like Dad explained, we use the booster if there's more pressure in the cylinder than what there is in the O2 tanks itself. And just in case somebody's got a question about this, there is a check valve here. So typically if you do have more pressure on one side than the other, it's gonna push it back through. And we don't wanna contaminate our O2 bottles with whatever mixtures in the tank or just plain air. So there is a check valve that doesn't let anything go back through that into the system itself. But that's what a booster is for. That's how we use it. We can use it to blend. We can use it to top off. We can use it just about anything we need it for. And then just like we do with standard partial pressure blending, we take the bottles back over to the fill station. We get them filled up. And then, of course, we're going to analyze these once they cool off and remark the cylinders. But guys, that's it for partial pressure blending and how a booster actually works. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you got any questions, drop me a comment down below, and I'll try to answer that question the best I can as quick as I can as well. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Take care. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.